Tonight's episode of Hot Spot, Roosevelt co-owner David Chang gives sales and marketing director David Segua a mandate to force the renovation back on schedule. The latest by your end. Meanwhile, as 57 cabana rooms lay empty, Dodd decks the halls of the hotel with his new lingerie line. Todd's costing me 18 grand a day and he's up here slinging panties. And when David Segua starts pressuring the construction team to step it up, the results are less than promising. I don't, I don't come to you like a dog. So take the camera, leave. None of this is me. If you want my opinion, That's it, what I'm I'm it won't be done for a year. Long ago, there was a dream called Hollywood and a hotel where those dreams lived. As the great ones faded to black, so did Hollywood and the hotel. known to blow off a business opportunity, Dodd and partner Scott hustled to get their new lingerie line presentable to Roosevelt co-owner David Chang, expecting to launch the line in the hotel. Workers dug and drilled and sanded and painted, but the 57 poolside cabana rooms still weren't done, and neither were the feuds in the construction meetings. Hey, okay. You want to damage that $300,000 worth of floor? You want to get the plasters in there? You want to get the painters in there? You want to get the Done, so then the goal is when Dodd discovered subcontractors jacking their original bids, causing even greater delays and overages, their contracts were terminated. So he's been replaced. And so he's no longer doing my rooms, he's no longer doing anything I'm working on. Roosevelt co owner David Chang drops in from Hong Kong to proudly tour his nearly renovated hotel only to find 57 gutted cabana rooms, a partially completed Tropicana bar, and one worker casually painting the trim. David, the bigger issue is December. We're in December. Do, do, you, see, do you see the rooms? How did we get here? Do you see the state of the rooms? Right now, we're praying for the first of the year opening. First of the year. That's amazing, you know? We start October 15th, we push it to November 15th, December 1st, December 15th, and now we're in January. Well, that's almost three months, 90 days later than what they promised us first. 90 days. That's a lot of money. That's really a lot of money. 90 times, uh, almost 20,000 a day, just in room revenues. And God knows how much it will be, we'll be doing in, in bar revenues, food revenues, parties. You could accept 15 days, you could accept 30 days, but once you push 90 days, that's a lot. And I, I don't even know if this is really gonna get done in January. Which room is the most advanced or, or the furthest along? It's not even close. You walk out here every day, right? You walk out here, see what's going on. At least three or four times a day. Do you see anyone on the job? No. You think they'll surprise me and get this done in two weeks? I don't see how you can. You still have to go through a certificate of occupancy. I mean, look, you have conduits exposed. We need these done, and we need these done by year end. OK, you're in charge. I want you to make sure I'm going to give you the mandate to get this thing done at the latest by year end, latest. So you basically have five weeks, five weeks to, to finish the cabana rooms. Let's make it happen. We've got to make it happen. It happen. Probably not going to make a lot of construction friends in the next 30 days. I'm going to get this thing done. During my meeting with David Chang, he clearly gave me a directive to push this thing along. Armed with his new mandate from co-owner David Chang, David Segua questions designer Dodd Mitchell, wondering how to speed up construction and get the cabana rooms open for business. Well, let's see. Months, for the past seven months, out? we're running with the football from the zero one yard line, and we get down to the opponent's 10, and we're looking at the end zone here. And where do we score? And everybody's like, oh, I'm not running it in. I'm not running it in. Because you don't even have a whole team. Look at, look at it today. Same thing I've been saying for months. Well, that's what I'm asking. I mean, whose <coughs> team is supposed to be where? Marco told me. Dodd Mitchell designed all the venues for the Roosevelt renovation. But physically building out his designs falls to an independent construction company that will have none of David and Dodd pressuring them to get the job done and clear out. David gave me a pretty uh, heated directive. 
Well, I just said, yeah, well, it's, it's, I mean, he gave it's me a heated heated directive, Don. He says, oh. I need you out here until this well, thing's done. Looks like that office is where you need to be. Can't seem to find anybody when you need them. And just like that, the hot potato is passed to construction foreman John Sample, who doesn't savor the heat. I don't work for you, never have. You don't sign my paycheck, so I don't, I don't come to you like a dog. So take the camera, leave. Basically, it's a lot of finger pointing and everybody's going the wrong way. So everyone needs to put their hands down and get together on this. Make sure. Under pressure from Roosevelt Cohn or David Chang, David Segua looks to build a bonfire under the construction crew. I'm going to be crawling all over you every day. 